Pisces, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of October 25th through October 31st. I just want to remind everybody real quick, um, if you haven't entered for the giveaway, I'm going to do the drawing on the 31st. So if you haven't seen the giveaway video, make sure to go back and watch that so you can get entered for the free reading. Um, Halloween's going to be a pretty special day this year. I've been saying on my videos this week, I just want everybody to know how important Halloween of 2020 is going to be. Um, if you haven't heard already or you're not sure what I'm talking about, just make sure to look that up because Halloween's going to be a um, pretty special day. Um, Alright, let's get started. So, the energy for the week, you got the Strength card. The Strength card is all about inner strength. Um, the strength card could also mean um, confrontation with others. Um, so you might find yourself having some sort of confrontation this week. Um, but I feel like as an energy, it's saying that you might need to um, use your inner strength uh, maybe to not have confrontations this week. Or to stay away from them. So a challenge or an obstacle that you might face this week, you got the Nine of Swords. Um, the Nine of Swords is about mental anguish. Um, it's about being finished, being done. Um, there's been a lot of anguish, a lot of fears, a lot of frustrations, um, but it's about letting go. Um, so I feel like as an obstacle or challenge you're facing this week, um, you have some sort of frustrations or fear. Something's making you restless and you're not able to rest, um, but you're needing to let that go. And then um, a lesson that you've already learned that can help you with this challenge or obstacle, you got the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is usually, a, it says speedy situation or finish. Um, the Knight of Swords is usually, um, like a, it's, um, it's a, it says someone who speaks quickly, um, but it's also, uh, um, I'm sorry, a, a lifestyle change. It's um, something something's changed um, pretty drastically not something minor it's a lifestyle change so I feel like it's in your already learned lesson so I feel like it's saying um, whatever this situation is that's causing you um, some sort of anguish that maybe has something to do with some sort of confrontation um, you already know that it takes some sort of lifestyle change um, and you've already had to do this before so I feel like um, that's just telling you um, you're, you need to let this go. You've had to let this go before. And then your outcome for the week, you got the Five of Swords. Um, the Five of Swords is about not all is lost. Um, there is some sort of argument, disagreement, battle, something, some confrontation um, might have happened here, but you do see the two people walking away. Um, there's two swords on the ground. You're still standing here. You still have the three swords. Um, it does look like there's hurt feelings. Something has upset someone, um, but you, you come out on top of the situation this week. All right, Pisces, so your guidance card, you got the Queen of Water. Um, the guidance cards come out of my dreams of Gaia Tarot. And the Queen of Water is, um, she's, it very clearly describes a person. Um, it's a very bright, positive, uh, happy, um, empathetic, kind, loving um, person. Um, so it says look beyond the surface so she also means that you need to uh um maybe if there is some sort of confrontation here going on you need to look beyond this um, maybe to something that like comes after um and it's coming quickly so maybe it's saying there's um, really no need to be involved in a confrontation because um what you're wanting out of the situation is already on its way um, but the Queen of Water symbolizes, it says, a gentle, empathetic soul who possesses a keen sense of intuition. She is loving, compassionate, and always kind. She knows when something is wrong, when a friend is hurting, and in need of comfort or counsel. She is naturally in tune with her emotions and the emotions of those around her. It is this natural connection and gentleness that draws people to her. When the Queen of Water appears in your card, she signifies a very affirming and positive energy, for she is the epitome of love in all its forms. Take heart and know that bright days are coming. So I feel like this could be someone that you know um, that's guiding you this week, um, but there, there could be someone with these qualities um, that's going to show you that 
uh, brighter days are coming. So whatever this situation is here, you're going to come out on top of the situation. It's going to be resolved here pretty quickly. Um, and brighter days are coming. So I feel like that is your guidance for the week, Pisces. Have a great week. Thanks.